For almost 40 years, Detective's best lead was a shoe print outside these Arlington apartments. It just wasn't enough to find the person who killed 22-year-old UTA student Terry McAdams. She really was very, very friendly and kind to everyone and um, just never met a stranger. Terry's younger sister, Karen Hopper, says her family had reached what she calls the uncomfortable stage of acceptance. But that did not stop the police work. It's a day that we kind of thought might never come. Um, but thanks to these guys, thanks to genetic genealogy, um, it worked. Arlington PD shared DNA evidence from the scene with FBI agents who found a distant relative in their system. With that info, investigators built a family tree and confirmed their findings by testing one of the suspect's close relatives. We got the big break we needed, uh, and we have identified uh, the killer. Police say Bernard Sharp entered through the apartment's sliding door sexually assaulted the 22-year-old, stole her engagement ring, and beat her to death. Terry McAdams had been baking a Valentine's Day cake for her fiancé, who was on a business trip. We do not know of any connections between Mr. Sharp and Terry. It does appear that this attack was random. Just a few months later, he shot and killed his wife, her friend, and himself. Detectives vowed to continue investigating whether Sharp is responsible for other unsolved murders of young Tarrant County women in the early 80s though they would not call him a serial killer. We want you all to know that our family is today and will forever remain in your debt. Hopper says she hopes this story renews other victims' hope. In Arlington, I'm Matt Houston.